Good evening, Marquette Nation, and welcome back to another edition of MUBB Takeaways. I'm Kristen Parisi alongside Adrian Frog. And Adrian, we just witnessed a 97 to 73 Marquette victory. And from the start, Marquette was dominant on all aspects of the floor. Just a lopsided win. What did you see out of the Golden Eagles tonight? Well, I thought Marquette really capitalized well on every fast break opportunity they had. Whether they got the ball from rebounds, turnovers, uh, little steals from the half court line, they were just able to capitalize on every facet possible, whether it be through alley oops, just slam dunks, three pointers, you name it. Yeah, and exactly. And it was a student only game. The atmosphere was incredible here at the Al McGuire Center. So, did you think the atmosphere and the student section really played into Marquette's victory? Without a doubt. To say that that. Uh, student section was only incredible is such an understatement. <laughs> you simply just had to be here to experience just how astronomical the crowd was and they definitely made a difference into this Golden Eagle victory tonight. And, and there are so many reasons to be happy Marquette fan. Ben Gold with a ferocious dunk in the second half and a career high from David Joplin of 23 points. I know it's hard but who is your MVP of the game? There's so many options. Marquette had five players score above 10 points. So many players in the positive. But I think I got to go with David Joplin, the sophomore, because <laughs> he had an astronomical night. He shot 6 for 10 from 3, totaled 23 points on the night, and had 4 rebounds. He really showed out in that second half where he just truly uh, displayed his dominance from the three-point line. Yeah, and he said it was felt like he was back at Brookfield Central. You know, he's Milwaukee-made. But looking ahead, Marquette has its first road game against Purdue. So what does the Golden Eagles need to do to come back with a win? Coach Shaka said it himself, he's still not happy with the consistency of defense that the Golden Eagles are playing at right now. And that's something that he really wants to improve for the team going forward, especially going on this week where Purdue has seven foot four center. That's really going to take an impact on just how the Golden Eagles will play offense this week. So the Golden Eagles need to learn how to play big. Yep, and we'll see how they do on Tuesday night in West Lafayette. But that is all the time we have. Be sure to follow MUR Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for live updates and recaps for Marquette Sports and more. For Adrian Fraga, I'm Kristen Parisi. Good night, Marquette.